Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or I guess I should say in this video, Bienvenido a mi canal por otro video. Today, I'm super excited. I'm doing a video that has been requested for so, so long, pretty much ever since I started making YouTube videos, and I told you guys that I spoke Spanish immediately. I have just always had so many questions about why, how I learned, what resources I use to learn, how I learned so fast, um, why my accent is so prominent, so many things just regarding the language of Spanish. And if you know me, you know that I am in love with speaking Spanish. I think it is such a beautiful language, so much more beautiful than English. Um, and I just absolutely fell in love with the culture, the music. Um, I watched tons of Spanish TV. I have been to a lot of um, Spanish concerts and it just, it fascinates me. It's something I fell in love with years ago and decided to really dedicate myself to completely learning the language all the way through so I could be fluent. Um, at the time I was working a retail job. Before I did YouTube, I actually had maybe like six to seven retail jobs. And I can say that fluently speaking the language has helped me so much in the workplace and being able to communicate with other people. And I just find that it's really cool being bilingual. It was always just a goal of mine that I had that I wanted to push myself to be really consistent and dedicated on learning to get to that fluency level. So yeah, I'm excited to share with you guys my story of how I learned and give you some tips and tricks that can probably help you to learn the Spanish language a little bit quicker and more productively. Um, so be sure you're subscribed here to my channel. Give this video a like if you're interested in any more videos of me like fluently speaking Spanish. Maybe I could do a Q&A or something. I want this video to be prominently in English though because I assume that those who are watching are people who only speak English who want to learn Spanish, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, basically I started learning whenever I was 16. Uh, the title says three months here on this video because that is the bulk of time that I feel it truly took me to be at the level where I could respond back and forth to someone um, without like having issues. I could fully understand what they were saying and actually speak back to them without any issues, like I said, in my retail job and stuff like that. Uh, but I know you guys hear me say in my videos all the time, oh, I've been learning for like seven, eight years um, since I was 16 till now. That's actually... Dang, that's actually 11 years. So I've been speaking it for a really long time, but at the beginning when I first dedicated myself knowing that I wanted to be fluent, I made the most progress in three months. I know some people will say that's crazy, it takes a year to learn, it takes six months to learn. No, you know how much time it takes to learn is the amount of time that you put on yourself. If you're dedicated and you're consistent, you can learn as quick as you want. You, you guys already know all my videos about positivity and the law of attraction and what I believe if you have a goal and you have it in your mind that you're going to achieve that goal within a certain time frame, you can 100% do it. I know that science and there's so many um, uh, resources that say online and it's proven that you have to learn a new language before the age of five so your memory can retain that information. That's BS, I'm living proof because I started learning at 16. So don't ever let someone tell you that you are too old to start learning. Um, I think if it's something that you're passionate about and you're willing to invest your time into learning and being consistent, you can totally do it. Um, so honestly, the I hope this video is not boring because it's pretty much just one tip I have for you guys, but then I'll share my whole story. Basically, the way that I learned so quickly is I fully submerged myself in the Spanish language. And I've researched videos like this on YouTube. I've watched a ton of them and everyone says they went overseas to travel or they went to stay with a family who only spoke Spanish. Um, I know a lot of you can't do that and you're probably just here in the United States or wherever you're watching from and I totally get that. I have a son as well. I can't just leave and go to another country, although that is the quickest way to learn. Um, the way that I learned the fastest within three months was that I was dating someone in high school who spoke Spanish, so I asked him to only speak to me in Spanish, no English whatsoever, which is super, super tough, but it really pushes you to actually think about your responses and learn words and sentences and phrases and they call them dichos in Spanish, like little sayings. Um, it pushes you so much to learn quicker. I put every radio station in my car. I would put it on Spanish music. I would come home from work every single night. And when I lived at Cal State San Marcos, I lived in the dorms actually, when I went to my first two years of college, um, I would always come home from work. I remember I'd go to my school classes all day. I would go work at American Eagle. Sometimes I would work at Radio Shack. I know, right? Like really weird job. I worked at Radio Shack and American Eagle simultaneously and was taking credits at school. Uh, but I'd get up, Radio Shack closed at nine. I'd get off at 9 p.m. and I'd rush home and I would watch my favorite novelas until I fell asleep. So I put all of my TV in Spanish, which are like noticias, um, and like all TV, all movies, like I said, novelas, I would have all my friends who spoke Spanish speak to me only in Spanish. Um, I took four years of Spanish 
um, language in high school. I took the three main, whatever is the, are the first like three classes, and then the last one was AP Spanish, which is a huge recommendation I have to you guys. If you really want to learn the language, push yourself and enroll in AP Spanish. That was one of the hardest classes I've ever taken in my life. It is really, really hard and it pushes you so, so much. Like I had to do so much studying um, and it's just very tough because that class is intended for native speakers. So I really pushed myself out of my comfort zone to join that class. That's also where I really found that my accent developed a lot. Um, whenever I speak Spanish uh, now in public or I meet someone new, people always tell me like, wow, que sentienes de donde eres? Because my accent is so prominent in English. That means like what a, what is it? Like what an accent you have, like where are you from? Anytime I start speaking Spanish, people always ask where I'm from. They think I'm from Mexico. That's because all of my friends who I learned from and people who have been around me, um, I've been surrounded, pretty much all my friends speak Spanish in high school and in college, which was really cool. Um, so they all helped me learn so much, but they were all from different cities in Mexico. So that is kind of the accent that I adopted. I know if you're from Spain, the accent is very different. They use vosotros instead of nosotros. Like here we would say nos vamos, over there they would say vos. What, what do they say? Vos? Vos vamonos, I think? So some of it is different. Some of the pronouns and stuff like that are different. Um, but yeah, where I learned, I know that I do have a, a very heavy like Mexican accent and I'm totally fine with that. I have so much love for Mexico. I've been there a few times um, on vacation with my family and you guys already know, I love speaking Spanish. I talk about it in my Q and A's all the time. The food, the people, the culture, dancing. You know your girl got a little like bachata, cumbia in there. Like I'm all about it. So I think it was because I fell so in love with the Spanish language that I just, after I started learning a little bit and I could kind of converse with people, I was like, I gotta go all the way. Like I need to know how to, you know, hold a full conversation. And there's been so many times that it's been so helpful, not only fun to speak, but actually helpful. I've helped a few people um, throughout the years at pharmacies who couldn't get their medication. There was like um, a few older, an older gentleman and, and uh, his wife, and they only spoke Spanish and I was able to communicate with the pharmacist for them because he didn't know Spanish. And just certain times where you find that it's so nice when you are fluent in a way that you're able to help others, there's nothing like more fulfilling than that. Um, and now I get to teach my son, which is crazy. A lot of you ask if I'm teaching Christian, of course, claro que sí. Like, duh, he's gotta know. If I took all that time to learn, of course I'm gonna be teaching him. I think he'll have so much more of an advantage in life, no matter as he grows up what profession he chooses. I think knowing a second language is always so beneficial. I think for me too, just living here in Southern California, we are so geographically close to Mexico that so many people here, like in the public, speak Spanish, so. It's really cool, it's like kind of always surrounding me, but a lot of you ask how I retain the language and how I don't lose it because I don't, I can't speak to my family in Spanish. They don't know anything. I can't even have like a sentence conversation like they really, you know they really don't know like nada. So um, I actually still watch tons of Spanish. If you follow me on Twitter, I'm always asking you guys your recommendations for like new novelas and movies in Spanish. Uh, my favorites right now are Señor de los Cielos and Sin Senos y el Paraíso. Anything with Carmen Villalobos, I will watch. She is a queen, she is hermosísima, she's my absolute favorite. But I'm just in love with like Spanish movies and shows and that's how I actually make sure that I don't lose what I've learned because I worked so hard to be fluent. I am constantly trying to challenge myself and read stuff in Spanish. I do know how to read and write it as well, which is a bonus of learning in school because a lot of people when they grow up, I'm not sure if the, your parents actually teach you how to write everything out with all of the um, accent marks and everything. So that's something I learned in school. So yeah, because I took so many classes in Spanish, I did learn everything like the proper way. I don't know a lot of like slang. I mean, I know some because of friends I've hung out with over the years, but um, I definitely learned learned it the more like correctly grammatical way, which is fine with me. Um, that's really good for like the workplace and stuff like that. So I would definitely say take as many classes in Spanish in school that you can. Also, the hardest class I ever took in my life was at Cal State San Marcos. It was called Español para Bilingües. I've told this story before, but I walked into class on the first day and the professor like pulled me aside and he was like, are you sure you're in the right class? Are you sure you want to be here? Like, where are you from, girl? Because I know I look white, but he was like, wait, she must be Mexican or like, speak Spanish, uh, be a native speaker, because the class was for native speakers only. I was the only white person in that class. I can admit I felt very intimidated, um, but I was so proud of myself that I pushed myself to sign up for that class, because that year is, that's when I like, 
I learned so much in such a quick time period. There was not one word of English spoken in the class. It pushed me so, so, so much. If you are scared to sign up for a class like that or you're on the cusp of signing up and you think you're almost ready, I'm telling you, just push yourself and do it. It will be so hard. I had to read in front of the class so many times and it was it was really really tough but it helped me so much and um everyone in the class i was intimidated to be in that class but they all ended up being my friends and throughout the semester they all would give me so much credit and so much props because they everyone knew that i wasn't mexican or anything and they would just be like damn this this white girl in here is trying to be on our level and learn like they had a lot of respect for me because i have so much respect for their language that i like i fell in love with it which is why i dedicated all that time to learning it so Everyone ended up supporting me and stuff, which was cool, but it was hard as hell. So I really recommend that to you guys as well. I also will link down below just some basic books and other things that you can get on Amazon to help you learn. I just keep these around the house. If I forget how to say a word or a sentence or a phrase, um, this one here is Mil Palabras Clave en Inglés. So there's over a thousand words in here that you can learn. There's also courses online. I have never taken like Rosetta Stone or anything. People always ask me. I think the best way, like I said, is just human interaction, speaking Spanish back and forth, learning, and then however much time you're able to dedicate dedicate every day, every night, get a set of flashcards that tell you really basic stuff, words, pronunciation, speak it a lot. Um, really just surrounding yourself with the language is like my number one only tip. Um, and again, I know a lot of us can't just like go overseas and like live with a host family and like learn really fast. So if you're still at home here and you know your family doesn't know, like I said, put on the TV in Spanish, put on the news in Spanish. Every time you're in the car, just go to Spotify or YouTube and search for songs that are in Spanish. Anything you can do to where you're hearing the language as much as you can and then you're speaking it as much as you can. Literally being surrounded by it is the way that you will learn the fastest, guaranteed. If you can go on a vacation or you can go somewhere where they only prominently speak Spanish, that's even better, good for you. I've heard of people who learn in like a month, which is insane, or like who get so much knowledge in just a few weeks, you'd be so surprised how quickly you pick it up when no one around you is speaking a word of English. It's so much quicker. Um, so for me, I was just really blessed to have pretty much all my best friends in high school, they all spoke Spanish, so I just had them only talk to me in Spanish, no English, really pushed myself, and I just fully submerged myself in the language. And yeah, like to this day, I'm so happy I learned. It's a huge accomplishment. I'm really proud of myself that I did it. And yeah, too, everyone always asks me, like, out of all the languages in the world and sign language, like, why Spanish? But it's like, Mexico is right here. I live in Cali. Like I said, pretty much everyone knows Spanish. Like, why not? Um, and again, it was so helpful in my retail jobs and stuff like that. And on top of that, I just think Spanish is the sexiest, most beautiful language ever. I don't know. I'm sure I will get hate on this because I'm not saying English is like ugly or anything. But in English, if you're like, I love you. And then in Spanish, if you're like, te amo, eres el amor de mi vida. Tienes mi corazón para siempre. I don't know. I feel like it's so much more beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. I think Spanish is just the language of love and I love it. So I just dedicated myself, told myself in my mind, I am dedicating to being fully bilingual. This will happen. I'm going to put in the work. I'm going to put in the time, the dedication. If you guys can put in 30 minutes to an hour every single day, even the more the better, but as much time as you put in, you're going to learn quicker, the more of a time investment you are able to put in. So yeah, that is um, pretty much it. I'll leave some resources down below, such as books and other things you guys can listen to. I will list down below my favorite shows and my favorite um, singers who actually they have amazing Spanish albums that you guys can listen to. So please reference that. I would love to have you subscribe here to my channel. Give this video a like. If you guys would like a full video of me only speaking Spanish, I don't know what to do. I did two, I've done two uh, um, on my channel, like in the history of my YouTube channel. And looking back, I wanna just remove the videos to be honest, they're really embarrassing. I get a little nervous when I speak Spanish because I wanna make sure I say everything right and my voice kind of goes up at the end and I sound like, I don't know, I just sound a little like, I don't even know the word, like preppy, I guess. I don't know, I feel like I sound weird, so I'd love to do another video in Spanish now that I'm more comfortable speaking the language. So if there's anything you guys wanna see, please let me know. I'd love to have you subscribe here to my channel, hit the notification bell down below, just because YouTube's all messed up, and that way you can be sure that you're notified when I do make new videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.